Where the fuck are you? It doesn't matter. I want you to come to my house now. It's not happening. Dwight was adamant about discovering who was behind the blast. Dwight initially believed Chicky was the one who left the bomb in his car, so he called to confront him about it. But, you know, Chicky didn't have any evidence to prove his innocence. However, as soon as Dwight heard his voice, he understood instinctively that Chicky played no role in the overall scheme of things. Dwight also checked in on Bill Bevilacqua, who informed him that he had no reason to kill him and that setting a bomb would have been the last thing he would have done. Meanwhile, Dwight was attempting to obtain CCTV camera footage from the area in order to determine who owned the white Prius that Tyson suspected was following them. Dwight discovered the footage, but he didn't realize the man worked for Jackie, Cal Thresher's partner. Dwight also paid Thresher a visit, telling him that if he found strong evidence that he was responsible for the attack, he would burn down. Thresher was likewise kept in the dark by his partner, and he had no idea Jackie would do something so brazen. Thresher was terrified that Dwight would connect the dots and come after him. But before that could happen, Jackie killed his henchmen and then destroyed the white Prius, leaving no evidence that could lead Dwight to them. Thresher was unhappy with his spouse. He sometimes felt like he had no control over himself. Jackie was a tough crook whose methods differed significantly from Thresher's. Jackie was a loose cannon, and I believe Thresher would face serious consequences as a result of him in the future. What happened with Vince and Chicky? In the last episode, we saw Chicky upset because Vince was attending the sit-down without him. Chicky was an insecure man who didn't enjoy his colleagues putting so much emphasis on Vince. But Vince was a sensible guy, and everyone noticed. Nobody wanted to deal with a reckless hothead whose primary goal was to cause havoc rather than find a solution. When Dwight called Chicky, he asked to include Vince on the call. Chicky became enraged, and Dwight advised him to stay out of it because he was not present at the sit-down. Dwight's statements made Chicky feel even more insecure. Then, to make matters worse, Bill called and asked the same question. Even though Chicky was furious, he realized he couldn't do much in such a situation. Vince realized it was time to remove Chicky from his position of authority before he destroyed ev- In Season 2, Episode 7, Vince met with the spokespersons for every other Mafia family and told them exactly what he wanted. They all appeared to agree with Vince, and they said they'd get back to him after contacting their separate supervisors. I feel it was just a matter of time until Vince became the mayor of New York. I believe that with him in control of New York, his relationship with Dwight will improve. Vince and Dwight will most likely form partnerships and collaborate in the future. However, Vince needed to be very cautious about his choices right now. He did not want Chicky to get the smell of what he was up to. A change in leadership was expected, and I suppose we'll know by the end of season 2 whether Vince can outplay Chicky on his own terror. Who did Tyson kill? Tyson felt bad because he felt he should have been in the car, not his father. He sought vengeance, but Dwight advised him not to jump to conclusions. Dwight asked Tyson not to do anything until he determined who was behind the attack. Tyson's mother was disappointed with him, and her silence bothered him even more. She asked him not to meet his father until she arrived at the hospital. Tyson felt that Bill Bevilacqua was behind the attack. Mitch spoke with Tyson and advised him not to walk down a path from which there was no return. He told him that he, too, had been careless in the past and that he had now repented. Mitch informed Tyson bluntly that if he killed someone, his life would never be the same again. But Tyson was not prepared to listen to any. At the, at the end of Tulsa King Episode 7, Tyson went to his father and prayed for forgiveness before riding to Bill's partner's house. Bill's partner emerged from his mansion, weapons blazing, and Tyson began shooting at his vehicle. Bill's companion was critically injured, and it appeared he might not survive. Just seconds before this incident, Tyson received a call from Dwight, who advised him not to behave rashly. However, Tyson made the mistake, and we will learn the ramifications of his actions in future episodes. In the last episode, Bill and Dwight had reached an agreement, and everything appeared to be going well. Bill didn't like Dwight, but he knew he could help them make money. Bill realized that making a deal with Dwight would be extremely beneficial for him. But, given what Tyson has done, I feel that trust will be lost. Bill will oppose Dwight and likely join forces with Thresher. It would be fascinating to see what Dwight does next and how he handles the 